What's going on guys? Welcome back to Do That g -Walk. Thank you for tuning in again to this new episode. <laughs> uh, this In this uh, episode, I will be talking about you know why I decided to grow my hair long and also about my, my past hair story. Alright, let's begin. The story started back in 8th grade and this little Indian kid um, that rode the bus to me, he asked me, you know, why is your hair like that? You know, like, meaning why is my hair tied to coral, you know, afro hair? Um, and I told him, I, 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 I mean, at the time, I was never asked a question before, so I had no kind of response to give to this, to this guy. So I went online, and I ended up finding about girlalfrohairlong.com, and that was the first time that I'd ever seen, you know, um, black, pe black people just black women growing their hair long. I'd never seen like that before, so that just blew my mind when I seen when I saw that site. And I read every article and every tab that I could find on that site. Then I discovered botkey.com and it's also another social media site. It was you know it's an old social media site, so it was before, you know, Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and all this stuff. So based on that site they have another community of black women just growing their hair long and <laughs> when I seen their hair, I was just in amazement because at the time I was around 13 or 14, so I was very young and I was just, I just could not believe, you know, these black women growing their hair just long down the back because at the time, you know, that was just, you know, you know that saying when they say it's Black people can't grow their hair long. <laughs> After finding about all of this information, I started taking, taking better care of my hair. And I tried to find you know a style that's suitable for me for a man, and I decided to you know start getting waves. And I use all the information like you know like deep conditioning, and then they have like this thing called the hundred hair strokes. You know where you just brush your hair you know hundred times, and it's supposed to help circulate your scalp. In secret, however, I I used to you know pretend that I had long hair with the towel, so I would like put the towel on my head and I would like shake it like I had. <laughs> I had long hair, but uh, you know, as I grew older, I stopped doing this, so you know, don't worry about that. You know, but as I matured, you know, I grew older, I started to experiment with different hairstyles. You know, I had like a mohawk at one time, I had a high top fade, I had, you know, like different kind of fades and shadow fades and stuff, and you know, undercuts and everything. Oh, and then some people will come up to me and say, Oh, you're bringing the 90s back, and I was like, What, what do you mean? <laughs> And then, you know, they would just say different things like, oh, you have a kid and, kid and play, kid and cutty haircut, hairstyle. In my head, I always felt that I was, you know, a trend center in a way of, you know, different hairstyle because then two or three years down the line, I would see like men just having, having my same hairstyle that I had. You know, I don't know if it just, but I know it was influenced from like celebrities and, you know, media and everything. But still, it's like, I, I know I started at first, but I didn't see somebody just had it. On my 22nd birthday, my dad forced me to get a haircut, and I did. I was not happy with this at all. I did not want to get my haircut because it was like a really high top fade. It was like it was like really high at the time, and it was like you know fade on the side and everything. He was tired of me just trying out all the different hairstyles, and he just wanted me to look like basic black man. <laughs> and I mean, I lived under his house, so I had to follow his rules. So. I just, you know, told my 26th birthday, I just had to get my hair cut, and after that, I was just, the hair, but the barber cut it way too short, he cut it like a bald fade, like I would just completely had no hair at all, and it was not, I was, I was devastated, like, I mean, I wasn't crying anything, but I was just, I was just devastated, I did not want to talk to my, I don't talk to my dad, I don't talk to my mom, I, I didn't want to talk to anybody, I was just, I was just really mad that I had to get my hair cut. And, you know, I learned later why, you know, that I had that feeling. My parents were happy. They were happy about the look, but I was not happy. <laughs> I was not happy at all. Around this time, I applied to work at Delta. So I had to come out here again, you know, just to, I wanted to make sure I got the job. So I just had to cut it again, just to make sure. But ever since then, you know, I refused to cut my, the top part of my hair. But I've had a lot of breakage, you know, from not, take care of my hair properly and be, because even though I knew all the information about you know that women could grow black women or black people grow their hair long I like put it to the side so I'd say about so for eighth grade till like maybe 12th grade I would use the information but then after that I kind of just stopped just caring about it and I just pushed to the side because at the time you know it wasn't popular for a man to like you know talk about hair or care that much about you know hair and everything so I just pushed that to a side so 
and then this year 2017 i just found about i just found out about you know all the the natural hair youtuber youtube community and after that i was just in love like i was just like wow you know because it just brought those childhood memories that you know about the long hair and, and just hair because i really do love hair that's like there's definitely a passion of mine and just seeing like the all the youtubers have this beautiful you know long hair just it inspired me again to just get back into it and now um just because i've i feel like i have expired on all the different hairstyles i've i tried all that i can try and i feel that i've done all that i can do as far as fades and everything i, I really want to you know try the next the next thing and which is growing your hair like long um you know down my back so i want to i want to do that and i know that for men it might be you know controversial you know people just may not think that it's the best thing or they may think it's too girly or feminine or whatever but you know right now i'm i'm actually i'm 25 years old so i feel confident in myself and i feel confident you know in my i'm secure with my you know, manhood and everything so i don't have to i don't feel afraid to to go for this so i know it'll take a while but like i said you guys will grow with me but i do feel confident enough to go ahead and just grow my hair long so I think I will show you guys this time I will zoom it out right so I will show you how long I want to grow it and I will show you you know just general things and maybe some pic I'll, but I will get to the pictures and everything in the future where I'll show you like this this really great video of just like really inspirational video I really do really do feel that it's great to have inspiration from other people and just pictures and everything that helps me I used I used to do that when I get my haircut I would just bring pictures like a whole group collection of pictures and show the barber I like I want this I want that you know so I will show you that you know soon but right now I will show you you know how long I want my hair to be Alright guys, that concludes the video. Thank you so much for watching uh, my channel. I appreciate you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.